we're going back to the license file. So we just clicked a brand new license. We've been in the license file. We clicked the plus button, which gives us a brand new record. And we're going to choose sync license and type in Twyla Fabulous at the Grove. And that'll be, let's, we could call it music video if we want. Click in the catalog number. Let's assign the song. I want you with me tonight. That brings in the title automatically. The tracker number. Who's, who are we going to sell this license to is what this is. And this license is with Twyla. So Fabulous Plus Music is the choice. Click that. And it links it to both the catalog file and to the people file here. So you see we have backwards links. This is important. You can type in notes here. There's dates here. But let's cut to the chase. Let's put uh, a music video. It's a sync license up here at the top. We're going to make this uh, pop. OK, pop worldwide license. Let's say it's for five years. Here's a number. How's it going to be broadcast over public airways and internet? This is all important because it'll appear on your license. The terms of the license, it's a one payment deal for the sync license. Product length, we'll put that in later. They shall provide us with a, what do you say, a Blu-ray disc or something. And we shall supply a stereo digital audio file, which they already have, I imagine. We're going to put in here $5,000. That's the agreed rate for the sync license, for example. And we're pretty much done. We can put advances in if we need to. Status, we can go over here and see how the status is going. Negotiating, no, we've signed it. It's done. Paperwork is filed. This helps you know where you're at with all of your licenses. Okay. Now, one thing we forgot to do was uh, actually log the performance over here in People under Twyla's name. There's a new feature in here called Live Show that for the People file, each new record, you can keep track of every artist, every person's live shows. So Twyla's one of our artists. So we click Live Show and we click in here and I've already entered the data, but we could put Twyla Fabulous at the Grove, the dates, this field helps us know what we have to do to get this thing negotiated and signed. Then I put, for example, this is follow-up information, Hilton Hotel confirmation. There's a lunch a record signing after the sound check. It's a concert. It's sponsored by Live Nation. Here's $40,000 for earning. Our cost is $22,000, musicians, equipment, and everything. And our profit is $18,000. So that logged it in there. It helps you keep a, an idea of it. You can print a report out. And uh, if you put in Twyla, it'll find her record and print out her itinerary. So you can send this to her. You can email it as an attachment, etc., And it gives you the information for her to have on the road. So now that we've done that, we're ready to do, uh, we've done the license. We're ready to do a collection. Here it is. We're going to do a collection for this license. So to because she's sending us money. She's sending us the money due the 5000. So it's a collection. We're going to put in her statement. It's a domestic statement. Let's just say today for simplicity. It's worldwide. The yellow fields mean you should click in them. It does some other things as well. It's a one because it's one times 5,000. And that's it. That brings it in. There's the collection. It's already logged. Now what we want to do is pay it out. There's a button here called payout. And we click that. And this is going to allow us to disperse this $5,000 over all the writers and co-publishers, etc. Now it doesn't mean we're going to send a check out right now. We're not going to pay it till the end of the quarter or whenever it's due. But we can go ahead and log it the same day as we get the collection. That way all the data is done and you know it's finished and in the file. It's very simple to do. All you do is click this green 
field with the total in it. It says you want to create all of them. I don't want to do it manually anymore, so just create it. It does it automatically. It went through each of these and added the amount. I just clicked on Twyla. Here's her amount at the bottom. $2,000. It took out for reserves. There's her publishing share, etc. Now ours is blank because we've checked ours as we don't want a statement. We just want to keep what's left in the bank. We'll pay out what we need to pay out. There's also a checklist in this file. And there's a paid out screen that just shows you a little neater where you can just see all of the finals. You just click on them and it assigns them to the bottom portal. That's all there is to paying them.